Welcome to our Energy Connect studio, Adipec 2022. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me, Raul Suarez and Ziad Akawi, um, both from SLB. Raul is the drilling project manager and Ziad is the drilling digital manager. I really appreciate you coming down on this busy day one of Adipec. Yes, yes. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Thanks for having us. Now, Zad, let's start with you first. Um, got a good couple of questions coming up. And what exactly is Neuro Autonomous Solutions? I want to know more about it. Yeah, no. Neuro Autonomous Solutions is really a system that's coming together, that ties together software, yeah. hardware with digital systems to advance how we deliver any particular domain, any service or product. In this case, Neuro Autonomous Solutions is working to deliver an autonomous capability for directional drilling. So it's really the software, the okay. hardware, and the intelligent system that comes together to allow us to do things like autonomous directional drilling. Great, and wow, maybe you can jump in on you know, what you see as the main benefits of Neuro if applied to you know, applications around the world. So, so there are many, really. One of the main things is consistency. You okay. want to make sure that yeah. you can deliver the best that you can on every well. Second is about even predictability. Try hmm. to understand what is going to be the result when you're planning the wells, when okay. you're planning the operations, and do it. Third, carbon footprint. Yeah. If you can do a lot of the things autonomously, then you can have the real the matter experts on specific places, so you actually reduce the amount of people that you can send to the rigs and so on. And at the end of the day, it's performance. Everyone yeah. wants to have the best well that they can have at the best time that they could have. All these four components, all together, is the main benefits of Europe. Great, that's really good to hear. And Sad, I also want to bring you in on, you know, two years ago, SLB introduced, you know, an autonomous directional drilling journey and vision. How does the Neuro Autonomous Solutions fit into that? Yeah. No, Neuro Autonomous Solution is really the promise that we made two years ago. So two yeah. years ago, we made a statement to everybody that we are committed to developing technologies that allow us to reach a fully autonomous state for directional yeah. drilling. And we promised two years ago is along the way, along that journey, every building block, every capability that we develop to support that ultimate ambition, we're going to ensure that it brings value to our customers and to ourselves as we transition to a fully autonomous state sometime in the future. So Neuro Autonomous Solution this year was launched to kind of solidify that okay. promise and it's one of uh, the first deployments that we're going to have in terms of level three or level four autonomous capability. So it's really um, some of the early fruits of our ambition to reach full autonomy for directional drilling. Super, must be nice to see it all come together. Uh, super exciting. <laughs> yeah, and, and on that, well, you know, yes. how could I apply Neuro to you know, current operations? What do I need? What, what, what can you... So, so first of all, yes, there are certain components that you need. And, and again, this goes to the four pillars that we defined you know, two, three years ago. So you need to have certain things on intelligent planning, and we always can okay. have some of that. Depending on the data that you have, locally or regionally, then we can actually already start predicting the results. Okay. On the surface automation, anything that enables you to do, for example, automatic downlink, that is one going to be the main components. On downhill automation, if the tool has a smart on it, they can right. take decisions on hold, that's going to be another component. And the things that put it all together is actually the intelligent execution. Right smart algorithms at surface that on the tens, everything that is passing from downhole up, and then on the lessons learned, the AI on the execution, and then have the best decisions. So you need to have different things on these four yeah. pillars. Almost everyone could have it, but if you need to have a little bit of each of one of them, you can then apply neuro autonomous solutions to your work. Great. And, and one thing to add on that yeah. is we're building it to be a little bit more agnostic. Ah, okay. So in terms of you know, when you talk about uh, automation or enabling certain deployments of rigs, yeah. we have a wide number of rig contractors, different elements of drilling programs worldwide. So autonomous directional drilling in Nero is meant to support any deployment that we have worldwide. So in terms of the components you need, we could be flexible. So if you have an automation system digitally on the, on the rig, we can connect to that. If you don't, we can connect to third-party rig contractors okay. that we're building agreements with. And we also have our own hardware that we can deploy to enable this if that rig does not have any type of automation capability. So we're, we're developing it to be a lot easier to deploy. And if a customer wants it, he could technically or she, they can technically deploy it anywhere around the world. Great. Wow. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, if I can add. 
one of the promises that we made two, three years ago was that we saw the evolution of automation. Mm. It was going to be very difficult to try to do a global deployment with one specific, only one solution. So what we promised is we wanted to make sure that everyone around the world, it didn't matter well type, BHA yeah. profile, offshore land, they could have at least certain components. So if there's going to be only one package, no, it's going to depend on which type of rig you are on, where you are, but everyone can really have a piece of new autonomous solutions to be applied to their job. Well, that kind of open policy, I think, will be welcomed by yes. the customers yes. and give you a breadth of where you can operate and work with this new technology. Um, I mean, yeah, one of the questions was, you know, can I apply newer to any rig type? And I think you sort of, you, you've answered that. Yeah, and the other aspect to it is also the downhole technology. So, mm -hmm. You know, when we say autonomous directional drilling, we mean directional drilling, the entire domain. So we're not limiting it to the latest and greatest technologies. Right. If some drilling programs require motors, then we fully support that. If they require some older generation RSS, we support it, the newer stuff or even if it's a Vortex motor assisted BHAs. You know, we, we are wanting to have this ability across yeah. the board for downhole technologies and, and rig surface uh, capabilities. And like I said, we want to be agnostic and we want to yeah. bring value to our customers irregardless of what they have. And we know every deployment is going to be different. So it's, a, it, it's not a, something easy to do, but I think it's critical for us to materialize the kind of value our customers expect in what we uh, are bringing to the table when we talk about autonomous direction drilling. Well, that's great to hear. And obviously, I think, we've, as I said, we're at the start of Adipec. I think the next four days, you're going to have lots of people coming up. And I think it'd be nice for you and SLB to be able to discuss and go through all of these benefits and opportunities. Yes, very excited. Well, and Zad, I just want to thank you both for popping down the Energy Connect studio um, and uh, really enjoyed our conversation. Well, thank you for, Thanks having, for having us. us. Thanks for the opportunity. Super. Thanks a lot.